Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker and boy it's crazy how much time flies when you find yourself completely enamored with things. In this case, it looks like we're doing piano solos. Is that two in a row? I think that's two in a row. Yeah, that's two in a row. <clears throat> but yeah, between between trying to get better at Splatoon 3 as well as slowly grinding out all the table turf stuff and and just really being in love with Rogue Legacy 2 yeah it got real easy to Hold on. Sorry about that got real easy to just completely lose track of, lose track of time, so this is going to be a late night recording. Why? Man, eh, fuck it, who cares? But I think today we are going to try doing magnetic follow-up with Obsidian Splitter. Before anyone even asks, yes, I'm pretty sure this is going to be awful. So I am just going to hope beyond hope that I find things during the run that work with this. Now, if your question is, Dark Sage, why are you doing this to yourself? <coughs> Sorry about that. Well, <clears throat> it's mostly because I, t I said from the beginning that I was going to do all of them. Even the ones that seem obviously horrible. So yes, this this goes right along with it. I won't, is I won't use the retro floor plan to go with it. <coughs> oh goodness! There's the old school crew. So, I'm starting to notice a pattern here. That pattern being that, that it seems fairly obvious what Arcana are and aren't going to work with. Oh, hold on, something is bugged with this. Ugh, my eyes are watering like crazy. Let that be a lesson to you, don't eat popcorn too fast, or it'll get stuck in the back of your throat and cause an immense discomfort. Ugh. And is it my fault for eating too fast, or is it kettle corn's fault for being so damn delicious? Let's not answer that question too quickly. Okay. Oh, that was smart. Glad I did that. No, the frank fact of the matter is, I'm not expecting this one to be good. I'm doing it more or less just to get it done and over with. But that should be that should be saying something to you is that I'm already getting a pretty good idea of what is is going to work out well with magnetic follow up. Also, my eyes are still watering really bad, so you'll have to forgive me if I have to pause every now and again to clean myself up. No, I'm not sad about anything. I'm not, I'm not crying. It's just for whatever reason, my eyes are like, oh, this is too much. I'm going, what is too much? Okay, I haven't played the Wizard of Legends a lot in the past, you know? Ugh. 
So, forgive me, for some reason I'm... You know, my face is melting and I can't quite tell you why, aside from blaming it on the kettle corn I was just eating. So for what it's worth, the magnetic follow-up does add on just a little bit in the way of damage and coverage. But I'm not sure it adds on enough to be, to be worthwhile choosing a, choosing another arcana to help you out. Even just something like Gale Force Alignment or Spark Array definitely seem like better options than magnetic follow-up. And in one of the comments, it was said it was said that, wow, maybe just maybe magnetic follow-up just isn't that good. That was on, I think it was what, a couple of videos ago at this point. So let me now go ahead and address that. Yeah, I think for the most part, magnetic follow-up isn't that great. But there are, that I know of, a couple of arcana that actually work fantastically. Some of you may already know what some of these arcana are. Let's go ahead and give you magnetic follow-up, so I can go get the enhanced version right after this. And let's see what you give us in return. Okay, well, I'm all for Furious Tempest. None of the rest of these seem that great, though. Starting to, uh, I'm starting to slip back into a sense of normality here, so hopefully my uh, my eyeballs don't keep watering. I don't feel like something is trying to cut the back of my throat. So let me just ask let me just ask this question. With a lot of with a lot of Archon, with our like, let's go especially with fear with. Fuel Preserve. I tended to save the ones that I knew were going to be really interesting or really good for later on. Either within the cycle of the... Either within the cycle of the element I was working on, so... Knowing full well that... That Earth Knuckle was going to be good with it, I saved that for later. But there were a few genuine surprises from Fuel Preserve. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been surprised by any of the results by magnetic follow-up. It seems like magnetic follow-up is purely is purely based on how many essentially activations your Arcana gets, as well as as well as how quickly those activations come out. So with that having been said, I'm just going to go ahead and ask, do you guys want me to skip over some of the more questionable ones and just move straight on to the ones that I think will actually be good? Because at this point, from the, from the research I've done, there aren't really a whole lot of these that are going to be throwing me for a loop at all. And as you can see from the example there, using using the pardon me, using the magnet using the magnetic follow-up there was actually a mistake. <laughs> but here's the thing, and you may have already picked up on this, but I had already figured that out just based upon one, the idea of what basic I'm using. And two, just how everything has been going thus far. And 
that's kind of why I'm saying Magnetic Follow-Up I don't think is going to have many thrills in store for me, save for the few that I think are actually going to work well with it. And if my... And if my gut feeling on this is, on this is at all right, then I think the ones that it's going to work well with are going to be Aqua Arc. Ooh, I definitely know what I want from here. But Aqua Arc, Ice Dagger, Spark Contact, and Bolt Rail. Those are the ones that I think are gonna, you're going to get the most out of, and potentially Stone Shot. So, I'm going to ask you guys real straight, should I... Should I just fast track my way? Okay, that that did not end up working out. Mostly because I aimed. So, do you guys want me to fast track magnetic follow up in order to get to something that might be a little bit more interesting? Because magnetic follow up, I really am getting the feeling that it doesn't have a lot. I will continue I will continue on that point in just a moment after I beat Freya. <laughs> You're a little cocky there, aren't you, Dark Sage? You're not sure you're gonna beat Freya? Oh come on now. Except that it was stupid, it was a bad idea, but I did it anyway. Mm, that was very scary. Now, I know the numbers are small, so the, every little bit of damage helps, but it comes out so slowly with, with this particular Arcana that I just don't think you're getting enough out of it for it to be And with the And the number of magnetic follow-up shots you get is tied to your number of activations sorting at Yeah, you get four stones out of it, which yeah, at five damage a pop, it's not, it's not like they're weak shots or anything. Considering the considering the damage that considering the damage that you could get out of Obsidian Splitter just by doing just by using something that would make it more consistent. And honestly, you guys already know my answer to that question. Now let me get back to what I was starting to make reference to earlier, and that is that when I was testing everything with Fuel Preserve, there were some genuine surprises there. I was not expecting things like Bolt Rail to work as well as it did with Fuel Preserve. And honestly, I was kind of expecting Bladed Vine to be better than it was. But like the biggest surprises were things like, you know, Bolt Rail, because it was already fast, I was figuring that it wasn't worth it, but oh my goodness, that was ridiculous. 
and the idea that spark contact was almost better than it was even crazier. And it also reinforced to me why Earth Knuckle Enhanced specifically was so was so good with it. Like sometimes things become popular just for let's let's be honest, mematic purposes. Because it's funny or it's ridiculous or you know, you tried to do something and it turned out awful. Like these are all legitimate reasons to like Tommy Wiseau. But sometimes things become popular for a good reason, like, you know, the Metal Blade in Mega Man 2. Some things just get popular for a reason. And to deny that just for the sake of being contrarian doesn't help anyone. It's better to acknowledge that some things do become popular for a reason. So I guess getting that reaffirmed for me with Fueled Berserk and these Earth Knuckles was actually very was actually very reassuring in a way. But unfortunately with the patterns that I'm seeing, I just don't see myself being surprised by Magna by anything magnetic follow-up has to offer. When I can pop on something and say, yeah, this is just going to legitimately be awful. And I can unironically say, yeah, this is probably a bad idea. Before even trying it. That says an awful lot. Like, at this point, you'll notice I'm really not even touching magnetic follow-up all that much. I've already gotten my answer and I'm just holding on to it so that we under so that we all understand that it's part of the magnetic follow-up Arcana Spotlight series. But is it good? Oh, not with this. But like I said, I do think that there are some that there are some choices that it will legitimately be good with. And I've pretty much already stated them, but just for argument's sake, Spark Contact, Bolt Rail, Ice Dagger, Aqua Arc, and maybe Chaos Crusher. Like, there's a few that I think will be legitimately good with it. I also think that Bladed Vine will be average. One that I think will be very below average will be Fiery Yo-Yo, because the whole idea behind how Fiery Yo-Yo works is that it does damage to enemies on the way out, and then again on the way back in. But I really feel as though the stones are going to work. The stones are going to push it out of out of range of the return trip of the Yo-Yo. And I'm thinking it's just not going to be very good because of that. But I think the others, the others that I mentioned earlier, will work because they get many, they get many activations. Oh, and Stone Shot is on that list as well, because they get many activations of their, of their attack, and they're either already ranged, so the, the magnetic follow will just follow right in line with it, or if they come out really fast, you get more magnetic follow-up stones than usual.
But those are just my thoughts. you have? You're a jerk. Since I've now flat out admitted that I'm really not even touching magnetic follow up, let's just do this. We'll just give ourselves something that we know that we will be using because it'll because it'll control space a lot easier. that magnetic follow-up just isn't like it's it's not one of those things where you know just remove, removing frame delays and allowing you to activate it faster is going to create surprises like like that's field berserk of course but but just adding rocks per activation like, that makes it very obvious what's... I hate elemental suckers so much. Even when there's only two of them, they just create absolute hell, so... You probably understand how difficult it is to deal with four of them when I have a retro floor plan running. Jeremiah's Needle. I'm not too worried about critical hit chances, but when they come up, they'll be big! Or take the thing that's smart and take the Golden Armor of Envy. One thing I would like to do is see if I can find something that would... that will, off, that will offset... Sorry, that will offset the anger of burdens, you know, negative negative trait, but it's not that big a deal. I'm totally fine dashing everywhere. For what it's worth, that's what 
That's what Wizard of Legend speedrunners are already doing. said on just using obsidian splitter by itself you will oftentimes run into these problems where just the splitter by itself is too slow to really be effective on its own Just admit admit to this. I kind I'm kind of running out of steam and patience for magnetic follow up. After a few, even after only a few episodes, what I'm noticing is that is that the patterns don't really change all that much. And what's going to be effective with it is essentially going to be the same every all the time. I've already brought up that that clearly wasn't the case with with Fuel Berserk. Fuel Berserk had some surprises that I was honestly honestly quite pleased to see because it means that there are there's more there are more things for the community to have fun with, more things for players to you know genuinely enjoy. Magnetic follow up, not so much, but. Like I said, I know there are a few things that Magnetic Follow-Up works well with. And that's why I posed the question to you earlier. I will pose it one more time at the end. Not right now, but hopefully you're thinking about what I had said. And you know, it's a shame that the basic Arcana buff for the Earth element is so say because it clearly didn't have to be. It makes me wonder, maybe maybe it could have been something that just adds on just a little bit of damage onto, onto each of your hits, like maybe just, you know, like a tick of like maybe three or four damage, but strength is that maybe maybe those maybe those hits could apply poison you know something that one would actually make poison builds more viable on them. <clears throat> and that would primarily be by making poison easier to inflict or maybe it'd be like a gravity well effect although to be fair gravity well effects seem to be a, seem to be a chaos arcana thing so you know don't want to step on another element's toes
Yeah, maybe just change magnetic follow-up to like a venom strike or something. That just seems like it would be way more effective to me. But it also there is also the possibility that that would be a little too strong. So Yeah, basically what Cecil just said. I'm basically just trying to boost up the merchant's card at this point, although I'm guessing you've all figured that out already. <laughs> now, I do feel as though we might run into a similar, similar problem with Calming Flow, where just where what it brings to the table just isn't all that interesting. But I think lightning aspect will genuinely be interesting. You know what? Bye, bye magnetic follow-up. It was nice working with you. going to be about it. Forgetting how strong Gust Folly actually is. So like I said, I will now repeat that question from from earlier here, since we are now at the end of the video, which, first of all, thank you everyone for watching. I know you were expecting more magnetic follow-up analysis, but there really wasn't much to analyze. 
So let me now get let me now get to the question. Do you guys instead of having me go through all 23 basic arcana with magnetic follow-up and essentially reaching the same result many, many times, as do you want me to just skip to the ones that I think magnetic follow-up would actually be good for? And I would like you to give me an honest answer to that question, either in the comments of this video, maybe maybe on my Discord, on my Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Just let me know what you guys are thinking, because honestly, I'm... Let's be real here, I'm not exactly super looking forward to doing more magnetic follow-up videos. And it's because the Arcana follows such a strict formula. Like, there was more that you could get out of Fueled Berserk just, just by merit of, you know, removing frame delays and speeding up the Arcana does a good number of things for a good number of Arcana. So it was always surprising to see which ones would really benefit and which ones wouldn't. This one, it's obvious what it's going to benefit, and continuing to go through the motions seems disingenuous. So let me know what you guys think. Whatever the answer may be, though, I appreciate you guys continuing to watch, continuing to support. I'm happy that you came to me to share some of your free time with me, and I look forward to hearing your answers in the comments or wherever. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see you in the next one. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I'm